What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a Jelly Bean browser test. Just going to be testing the browser and a few benchmarks, a few websites to see what it's like. Let's get on it. I'm running this on my Transformer Prime by the way, just in case you were wondering. So up here we've got the bookmarks tab, history, saved pages, you can click this, these are the uh, synced to my email, these are synced, these are the local bookmarks. Um, up here in, in the menu you've got refresh, new tab, incognito, share, find on page, request desktop site, that's always useful, save for offline reading, page info and settings. We jump into the settings here, we've got home page, privacy and security, accessibility, advanced, advanced bandwidth management and labs, which you can have quick controls which are actually kind of cool. So the quick controls you can pull in from the side here, settings, back, go to the address bar, the tabs, which if you have more tabs they'll be up here and you can just swipe over to change them, and bookmarks. So that's actually quite nice, for example if I go up there and press that it will drop me into the settings. Um, if you go to there it will pull up the address bar, if you go to that and then share, it should yeah, pull up the share lists. So I'm just going to turn that off now that I've shown you it. Okay, let's look at some websites. So I've loaded Engadget here. And you can see Flash is running because there's Flash ads. Let me get rid of some of these emails. Um, so once a page is loaded, it's butter. Look how smooth that is. I mean, there are positive and negatives to the Android browsing over iPad browsing. iPad browsing always seems smoother, but in iPad browsing you can't do this. You can't just swipe one finger, it does it a bit at a time, so that's kind of nice. Um, no checkerboarding, as you can see, everything's loaded instantly on a, such a high-end device you'd expect it. So, pinch to zoom on this website, really responsive. Let's try and uh, zoom into this here. Double tap, yeah, double tap working really really smooth here. Let's try a different website. Um, GSM Arena, usually quite good. And gather the speed of it all as well. Yeah, you can see the page is fully loaded. Again, no real issues here. Let's load this iOS story. You can see how quick it loads at the top here with this bar. It's actually not quite finished yet, but the page is usable even though it's still loading. Pinch to zoom again, also usable while it's still loading. Really nice. There are still some websites that will like bog this down. If I go to, I mean this isn't one of them, I'm just going to show you some Flash stuff. Um, but even though this is Jelly Bean, you can install Flash. Um, it's just not fully supported and the next version of Android it probably will be completely gone. Um, but saying that, let's check out the performance of it. So let's click into this story here. So this is Flash here, so once it's loaded we're going to press this. Lewis Hamilton waving goodbye to McLaren comes as no great surprise. A move to Mercedes had been predicted for some time, but while the pin prepares for an exciting new... And it works really well. Smooth frame rates, no problem with that. Let's try a full flash website and see if it bogs down. So this is going to be a full flash website test to see how it performs. I'm sure it will slow down a little bit. Let's see. 
Tournament three. A bit of slow down there. Oh no. That's a full flash website, and at least it's loaded it. Right? It's got the opportunity. I don't know what would happen if you went on this on the iPad. It probably just wouldn't load anything. You can see here it's buffering a video. So. And that is actually playing that video now. Not that smoothly, but it is playing it. I mean, there is a lot of stuff going on here. You can see what I mean when it gets a bit heavier. Stuff starts to slow down. Okay, I don't even know what just happened there, but you can see what I mean when you have such a massive flash website, stuff starts to get a little bit difficult. We'll try and load that again. But hey, right, at least you have the option to, um, to do it. And this Jelly Bean browser is the best Android browser there has been. It's very, very quick. Let's click on The Verge, see how fast it loads. Its performance is great as well. I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus, it's really frustrating. Um, yeah, continue. Something about a certificate there. Loads, still loading again, the website's already usable, no checkerboarding, and really, you can see how smooth that is. Really, really smooth. Zoom into here, you know, zoom in here, double tap, double tap here, double tap's not really that useful at all. The pinch to zoom is very, very responsive. Um, Yeah, I mean, let's, let's do a quick uh, sun spider test and don't worry, I will skip to the end of the results so you're not going to have to sit here and watch the whole test. Um, pick one again on that one. So I'm going to skip to the end here and I'll join you at the end when we have the results for this. And we're back guys and if we zoom in on the score here it's got 13.06 which isn't the best score we've seen from any devices, but it's not bad. I mean, in comparison, my laptop, which is an M15X Alienware laptop, scores 200. Uh, and that's a quad-core laptop, and this is scoring 1300. So, I mean, we're not miles away from JavaScript performance being desktop-like. But it's not all about JavaScript performance as we know. Um, that's not a bad score, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know what other devices get, but um, yeah. So in, my, in conclusion, the browser is is really good on Jelly Bean. It's, uh, it's much improved over ICS. You don't get any of those stupid little bugs anymore. It's much, much smoother. Um, it is approaching iPad, iOS levels on the browser now. And some things I think it even does better. It gives you more functionality. I mean, you can do full screen browsing, and I know iOS has just recently got that, but this has had it for ages. Um, I uh, the cloud stuff can be synced. The tabs can be synced with Google Chrome. Bookmarks are synced. Everything's synced. Passwords can even be synced across Google accounts. So it's really, really nice. The, 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 um, the browser here is really, really good. It gives you a lot of system stuff if you want it. You can request a desktop site, which is also really, really useful. Um, find on page is also useful. So, yeah, the browser is much, much better. Hopefully, with the next version of Android, it will just keep getting better, keep getting faster, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys later.